They're so cute. They're like the perfect couple. You never told me how they met. Well, it's actually quite the story. They were dating back in high school and they were all set to get married. Well, my grandpa, he got drafted for the Korean War. Dang. Yeah, he almost died in the military hospital from gunshot wounds. He told me the one thing that kept him alive was the idea of getting back to my grandma so he could marry her. He kept his photo with him the entire time. Wow, Angel. <laughs> I didn't know that. Once he got discharged, it took him about two years to find her. Her parents moved away and she moved with them. She didn't know whether he was dead or alive. So how'd he find her? Well, he was working down the docks and he overheard one of the guys mention her name. My grandma was friends with this guy's wife. So, my grandpa reunited with her and they were married within two days. That's amazing. These were so romantic back then. You're not leaving for a war soon, are you? Nah, not my style. So that means you won't be coming back from somewhere to marry me? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say all that now. It could be wedding bells on us for the future at some point. But you know what? Let's give it a chance. I got gotcha. you. Serafina. See what's behind me? Oh my god. You've been thinking about getting one, right? Let's go inside. All right. Looking to get tattooed, honey? Possibly. I'm thinking about something on my back, but I just want it. Suit yourself. Oh, so did you pick up that disc of the photos of your grandparents from the photography shop? Okay. Well, yes yeah. and no. What do you mean? Well, it's kind of weird, but... I went to pick up the disc from the photography shop this morning and I took it with me to work. You know, they've been putting up drywall at this high security company. But on the way out, I must have picked up someone else's disc because when I took it home with me and I checked it out on my computer, it wasn't a disc with the photos on it. So what was on it? I said something like IPPF for Alaska. What's IPPF? I think it was like ionized particle propulsion facility or something like that. You know, I have no idea what the hell that is. The rest was encrypted, so I couldn't read it. What the fuck is this? Sounds like you got something pretty valuable there, Chief. Well, now I got something pretty valuable, too. Where is it? Look, I don't have no goddamn phone. Don't play games. Give me the fucking disc now. Give it up. Shit's about to get real fucking crazy in here. Is that right, Ice? Fuck yeah. If you want to see your little princess again, you just bring that disc back in here and you hand it to Roxanne. And when I get the call with confirmation that you did, then I'll release Cinderella here. Who are those guys, and where are they taking her? I can't tell you. They'll kill me. Look, I don't know or care what's on that goddamn disc, all right? I'm not from the government. I'm not from any agency. I'm just a carpenter. I just want my girl back. All right, I'll tell you. But you ain't heard this from me. That's Blaze and his crew. They do contract work for various agencies, selling advanced weaponries to other countries. They pulled me in a few years ago, when I was on the streets, but I want out. I'm tired of setting up and dealing with some of the most evil fucks you could ever imagine. Where are they taking her? Their hideout, just on the outside of town, past the old church, last building on the left. <laughs> Thank you.
think it is, then your little Romeo doesn't know how to follow instructions. Fuck. Roxanne, shut up and listen. Did he drop off the disc? Who? What do you mean, who? Look, all I know is I'm hearing gunshots and I haven't heard from you in hours. If I find out that you turned on me, I'ma slit your fucking throat, bitch. Have you forgotten who took you off the streets when... Bitch! You two idiots have no idea what you got yourselves involved in, do you? You see, on that disc is the blueprints for a facility that's gonna house a high particle beam, high voltage particle beam, that can take out 10 football fields. All right, I give it to my contact. They give me a hundred grand. So you see, honey, it's nothing personal. You got your precious disc. Now let her go. Not so fast, Romeo. Take one more step and I'll blow her fucking head off. Now put the gun down and push it away. Now give me the damn disc. Now! Have to go down like this. That's why I told you. Give the disc to Roxanne. But you're too stupid and you don't listen. I can't just let the two of you walk out of here now knowing what you know. Please don't do this. Uh, say bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, he's a psycho. I thought it's over.